Today I'm going to show you how to make a curved bottom on a, a header for use in Excite Pro. People seem to think that um, curves are something exciting and special, so I thought I'd show you actually just how simple it is and that there's really no trick to it at all. It's just knowing how to use the tools in Photoshop. So we're going to start, we're going to create a new file, and um, we're going to make it 900 pixels wide, 900 and uh, 200 pixels high, although we're not going to use the full height, but I need that much on the canvas to be able to uh, show you what we're, what we're going to do. For resolution, it's always set to 72 because we're going to be working on the web and RGB color. Say OK, and here we have our canvas that we're going to work on. This canvas that we have here is our background. We don't want to work on the background, so we're going to start and create a new layer. I just clicked on this icon here and it created a new layer for me. Now I've got a couple of colors here. I'm going to use this lime color, I think, for the header. What I'm going to start with is the pen tool. It's the first one here. It's just called pen tool. I'm going to click outside our canvas and then I'm going to hold the shift key down to make straight lines. And then I'm just going to join them. And I'm going to add anchor points here, there and there, about a third of the way and two thirds of the way or something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm just going to move this one up and this anchor point down. And there I've got, um, you know, you can already see that this is going to create a curve. These are anchor points. These are handles that are coming out. You can see the little dot on the end of this. And these handles actually enable you to play with the curve as well. And there's all kinds of things you can do with that, but we're just going to keep it pretty simple for today. And I go up to the paths um, and click, right click on the work path and choose make selection and say, okay, it's going to, create the selection area for me. You can see the marching ants there and that's going to mean that we're going to we can put some color on this layer. Just take the um, rectangle tool or you can take the the paint bucket tool and you're just going to fill with color. Then hit control D on the keyboard and that will remove the marching ants and so now you have a, a curve. You can uh, put some effects on there, a drop shadow perhaps, I'm going to change it to 90 degrees so it doesn't um, have, well, if I show you the global light is 120, you can see there's a little bit of space there because the um, shadow is slightly angled. It's angled at 120 degrees, and I don't really want that for, for a header. probably want the shadow to be at 90 degrees, so I'll remove the global light and um, set that at 90 degrees so that you don't get any of that at the, at the sides. You can do all kinds of other things if you want, but... Um, the only other thing I'm going to show you is the stroke. You can take the stroke, just double click over here and um, maybe put two pixels and choose a color similar to the green. I just used the drop eyedropper tool to, to select the green that we're using and then we just make it a darker color, a darker green, something like that. I'm not sure I like two pixels. Let's just choose one pixel and uh, let's put it inside and see what happens. Okay, so it just defines the edge a little bit. It's completely up to you what you do at this point. You can take off the shadow, um, you can take off the stroke, and it's up to you whether you um, whether you use either one of them. But there you have it. You have a header that has a curved bottom. And then we're just going to make another layer. And on that layer, we're just going to use white, and I'm going to just put a title my website. Very simple. You can put a shadow on there if you want. It makes it stand out. And then you may, might want to blend a picture in. Here's a trick for you. Take your control key and click on your your layer where we made the curve, so this green layer, and it'll make, put marching ants around the outside of it. Then take your image that you want to put in there, select your image, select all, copy, come back to your header and make a new layer, I'll put it a layer above the green layer, and choose paste into. 
And what will happen is that the picture now has the same curve. And no matter where I move it, wherever the bottom of that picture is, it's going to have the curve. And so you don't have to worry about trying to change the shape of the picture to match the curve. It's a nice trick. Use Control T to select the picture and resize it to whatever size you want. Fit it into the corner here maybe. Say OK. And we have a very quick and easy header. That's all for today. Enjoy. <laughs>